Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, so I'm so to the Lord once again. When you go to the Lord once again. Because I've given us another chance to listen to his word. Uh, this time I will pray uh, before we begin. The other one will thank you. Every time you provide with us this time, uh, because you know our hearts. Where are we to march? Once we don't receive your word, you are people who go astray. We always follow our thoughts. But through your word, you can be trained to uh, receive your guidance and to live by it. And I pray that you may open our hearts so that we can see your word tonight as it is. And bless all viewers to receive your word. In the name of Jesus I pray. In the name of Jesus I pray. Tonight we shall read in the book of Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3 starting from verse 3. Roma, which is not a very common Wagatatu. So, if you have a Bible, please open Roman chapter 3, we shall read from verse 3. Wafite Miria, Mura Roma, which is not a two, Murongo Wagatatu. The book of Romans is the book which explains the gospel clearly. And once you come to understand uh, what the book of Romans uh, speaks about, you can also know the heart of them. So let us read Romans chapter 3, starting from verse 3. Uh, for what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Indeed, let that be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that you may be justified in your words and may overcome when you are judged. Ibi shoka, aogi mani wani ke kwaari nyanga muga yo, nuku munoe sa umwe shi, muko biyani swengo, maga mboya, wani ke kuchira nuka, kujira ngu, sinde no chiguru wanza. But if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God and just who inflicts wrath? I speak as a man. I was saying, Eva, the children of God are true. Who am I to tell you that I'm not a fool? The man is a child of God. Who is a nation of genius? You must be a man. Certainly not. For then, how will God judge the world? For if the truth of God has uh, increased through my life to his glory, why am I also still judged as a sinner? Niva in your mapja and you to Mukuru Pima and Akuru Shoku Menekana, Ikaesh Chuayo, Nichi to Mana and Yenche Guanza and Yabja. And why not say, let us do evil that God may come, as we are slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, their condemnation is just. Gandhi, ni iki kituza ukorera ibibi kugira ngo byiza bibeho, nuko batubeshyera kandi bamwe baganye uko ariko twigisha. What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. 
We have previously said both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. Nuko tuvuge iki ndese turaruta oyada ari na gato. Uko tumaze guhamya abayuda n'abagira iki yuko bose batwarwa n'ibyaha. As it is written there is none righteous no not one. Nuko byanditswe ngo nta ukiranuka n'umwe. There is none who understands there is none who sits after them. Omenya na ushaka imana They have all turned aside they have together become unprofitable there is none who does good no not one Bose barayoje bose bayanditse bigwari na akore byiza none Yes I've read up to verse 12 Tujeje ku mwana wa 12 For us to understand the heart of God we need uh, to be trained kugira ngo twakire umutima wa Imana bisaba gutozwa because usually our hearts are different from the heart of God kugira ko usanzwe imitima ashitandukanye no w'Imana that's why when God speaks we cannot understand what he's saying ya mambo y'Imana ivuze ni twakumva ikivuga but the more we listen to the word of God the more our hearts are tamed and we can catch the heart of God Maruko dokomesa kumbe jambo ry'Imana imitima cyatozwa tukagera aho tujyakira. Oh so many as I listened the word from the Bible. Nyaka nyinshi na imaze numbe jambo ryo muri Bibiliya. I spent a lot of time in the religion. Ako namaze igihe kinini mu idini. Especially since 1998 I was that religious person. Ako kuva mu rwango ngo kena no munani na no umuntu umunye idini cyane. But until Uh, 2011 I could not understand even a single verse in the Bible. Yo kugeza mu bibiri mu bibiri na 11 nta murongo numwe mu bibiri na na gasobanukirwa. Why do I say that I couldn't understand even one verse? Ese kukivuga ko nta murongo numwe na washaka kumva. Actually spiritual life starts when a person repents. Wonde uzima kumwoka gutangira igihe umuntu yihana. But until then I could not repent because I could not catch the heart of them. Kubicha jerero na nari hana kwa kone na namenye umutima w'Imana. But by the grace of God one day uh, in the month of January 2011 I came to understand one point in the Bible. Jerero kugeza icyo gihe mu mwaka wa 2011 mu kwezi kwa kwa mbere Nawashe gutaba umutima w'Imana. So for around about 12 years I listened to the Bible but I could not catch any single word. Kugeza icyo gihe rero nubwo numbaga Bibiliya ariko ntaje mu nta rimwe nawashe gusobanukirwa. For about 12 years. Nyaka 12 yose. So many people are living like me. Abantu benshi bo bahanje. Even some become pastors. Na bandi baba baba pasteli nanda bishops abandi bakaba ari bishops nanda they are so called apostles abandi bakaba ari numwa even they are theology until they become doctors bose abiga na theologia bakaba doctor but when you check what they speak and their hearts akore bibyo avuga ni mitima yabo actually they are far from the truth sanga bari kure cyane ukuri yes Talk about this. Deka tuvuge ko iki kintu. When I read uh, there is a, a verse which is famous. Ari umurongo umwe wa mama ya. I think everyone knows this verse. Ikiraza ko buri wese awuze. It's like this verse in the book of John chapter 3. Nyita wakirana bice bitatu. When I say John chapter 3 the famous verse everyone understand that verse 16. Yero mvuze bana gatatu rese ngo ko murongo wa mwari 16 This verse was translated in so many languages. Murongo wa sobana ndi minyishi. It is said uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Murongo wa ngo kwimana kunza ari mwisi cyane byatumitanga umwana w'ikinege 
Gila mungu ni zarebu sata yungu ka wabuga wabugu jingu wara wa. Yes, let us think about this verse. Eka tutachele za kui mwara wa. What is the result of believing in Jesus? Ese anuwe mwasaro kui zara yesu. Once you believe in Jesus. Ya wise yesu. One, you cannot perish. Mshora kuri mwaka. The second issue, you have a lasting life. Cha kabilika anuftu wujingu wara wa. But those so-called servants of God I have spoken about, they know this verse and they say that they believe in Jesus. Even they tell people to believe in Jesus, they believe. But when you ask them if they are righteous, they say there is no a single person who is righteous in the world. They say all of us are sinners. So God is the one who knows if we can wish we will go to heaven. They are not sure about salvation. They are not sure about a everlasting life. Instead, they live under fear, thinking that they can perish if they don't uh, like uh, keep their salvation. When I check the Bible, the Bible does not say so. The Bible said, whoever believes in him, everyone, whoever you are, if you come to faith, to, uh, to having faith, to believe in Jesus, you can never perish. Whether you are a white man, a black one, a yellow one, Whoever you are, once you believe in Jesus, you get everlasting life. And you are separated with death, even perishing. In other words, you are separated from sin. But why do people think that they are still sinners? Why do they, don't they believe in the Word of God? The biggest problem of people, though they don't believe in Jesus, they think they believe in Jesus. But the truth is uh, that they don't believe in Him. Because if they would believe in him, they would be righteous, they would be uh, holy without sin. But uh, when you read Romans chapter 3, it starts with this question. Romans chapter 3 verse 3. So what if some did not believe, they are believed to make the faithfulness of God without effect? How do you think about this question? You know, many people, they follow majority. They say in this church, they say that you are sinners, even that biggest church, they say so. They say that you are righteous when uh, the majority of people say that they are sinners. How come uh, you believe in this in this uh, gospel being few? Look at other people. They don't speak like you. They don't preach like you preach. So what? Do you think that uh, if majority believes in the wrong uh, 
uh, it will make the faithfulness of God without effect. The Bible says certainly not. Let's say that I deny that I am a man. I say that I am a woman. And uh, many people believe that I am a woman. Uh, there is one person who knows me very well. And he stands on the truth and he says, You are a man. So if all the world say that I am a woman, I will be able to say that I am a woman. Does it, does it mean that I became a woman? Certainly not. Oh, yeah. So even as we believe in God, God is teaching us to believe in the truth. Because the truth does not change. What is the truth? The truth is the word of God. Once you confirm that the word of God speaks something, you have to believe in that truth. That in order to believe in the truth, you should realize that you are a liar. But so, certain knowledge, indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written that you may be justified in your words and may overcome when you are judged. So we believe in the truth. Everyone, all of us, we are born sinners, we are born liars. When you read John chapter 8, Jesus said something very important. Let us read John chapter 8, verse 44. John chapter 8, verse 44. Here yeah, the Bible says, hmm? You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father he wants to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. <laughs> Yes. Once we listen to the gospel with an open heart, the very first step we realize that we are born being the, the, the devils. Because you are born sinners, you are born of the liar, and we are liars indeed. Because there yeah, the Bible says, you are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to. Who is the devil? The Bible said the devil is a liar and he is the father of a lie. You know, because you are a descendant of Adam, we are nothing but liars. So how can we believe in Jesus? Unless we realize that we are liars, unless we repent from our thoughts to the world of God, we can never believe in Jesus. Everyone, for so many years you have been uh, clinging on your thoughts. 
Yero miaka mishi mazu gundi ibitekye sobyawo. Ani tochi atosa. Kanu kegira ko ibitekye zaro kuri. Today I to know that you are true thoughts are also a thoughts of a liar. Koma komera ko ibitekye zobyawe ipfuye kandi ari byumubi. Uh, I don't know if you have met a conman. Sinzi naro ahora no muteka mutwe. Ndiye tusaba ngandi eh tayi met This guy was so kind. He tried to convince me that he is a needle in need of help. Actually, he was in need of help. And he told me how he doesn't know the town. Ambira buryo cyatazi umugi so i had compassion and pity on him na mugire muwe but virtually his story my mind ariko mara zaje kunywa amafaranga azi i could it the alive that was a coin ah mugiye nigeze nawe rakora umuteka mutwe but since that was a good person kwabyasa gana ari umuntu mwiza and he convinced me to help him kandi rwose anyumvisha uburyo kimwe kumufasha as i was helping him Mujye nandi kumufasha. Actually, I don't know how it happened. Ah, una no bunzu ko byagenze. But he stole my 50,000. Ah, cyo gindiruka ko muri umwaka n'ibyumbi 150 byose. That time I was just uh, I was still and it 50,000 was too much. Cyo bitewe no kwa nari nyiri muto rwose umwe 150 ari menshi kuri. And there's what I want to tell you that when a con man uh, comes to you He comes with a good image. Like you shall come here now, come out here, come out here. I shall go shock her. Go say, as I take your chair, or go now. So if you can realize that this is a con man, he is not experienced one. Ah, kujira mo tamanya koro mute come out here, ano tara imenye. I mean, once you can, you can detect that he is a con man. Wewe kwa sura mtsta wewe kwa mtaeka mtoke. It means this con man is not familiar with calling people. Wewe mtaeka mtoke abatara ba mungu biso beremo. Even our thoughts are safe. Mita kizu biya chuno. Plus to believe in our thoughts. Kujia mtukizere mita kizu biya chuno. It's because our thoughts seem to be true. Mkuu visa na rukuri. Do you know what I'm saying? Asa siki mane fuga. For you to believe in him, you should accept to be deceived by his word. Kujira ngo uize re nuko imero gashkoni jamu ya. Because you are lying. Kwa kurumweshi. Even your thoughts arise. Mita chira zodiya nuko. So you should you should deny your thoughts. Yego kwamba kuziba chira mita chira zodiya. Maybe some of you laughed at me because I was conned. Ari mwe mushora funsa ka kwa kona teke umutwe but our thoughts have been calling us to so many I can tell you that you are true you are just shoot se kuva kera even you you are con maybe you didn't meet a physical con man but you met your thoughts na yawa teke umutwe nubwo ndataraura numuteka umutwe muri fatika ariko wa teke umutwe ni bitekerezo byawo so that is teaching us this fact When you preach the gospel, you will think that you are lying. They say, how can, how can that be? Can a person become as well as God? But God says that is no righteous. When a person is sinful, It seems that people are true, actually. Even it is written in the Bible. In the verse 10, we are read today. The Bible says that it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. You see, the Bible speaks about this thing. I would have said there is no righteous. How can you say that you are righteous? All of us you are sinners. It seems that uh, these people are true, right? That's why they say, are you, you want people to come to sins? 
and we are people who cannot do good bituma tumenya ko turi abantu bari bandiye turi abantu bashobora gukora neza we realize that a true figure is this in the first ten dutaro kushusha cyari ahanga umurongo wa 10 yeah the people who cannot do good realize Dero kintu cyo kintu cyamere kibanze umuntu akure kumenya. If you want to believe in God. Ni ushaka kwizera Imana koko. You should not believe in your heart. Ah nuko mba kwizera umutima wawe. You should deny yourself. Ngomba kwiyanga. Jina said whoever wants to follow me let him deny himself. Ngomba isaba uti wese ushaka kumurikira nabanze ya. Deny oneself means kwiyanga bivuze ngo to depart from me. Mu kwivamo because many people they deny their evil deeds but they want to hold their good things kora kusanga abantu bagerageza kuzibukira ikibi cyabo ariko kiza cyabo akakigundira it is not denying us you are not going once you realize your true freedom you may not show any so you can throw yourself away from uh, the works of ushobora kwijugunya wa ubwa umirimo y'Imana That's when you can realize what Jesus has done for you. So through the work of Jesus, mm-hmm. we acquired the righteousness of God. And this is a pass from the Lord. In other words, it is far from what we do. No one, no one can do something to acquire this righteousness. But the Lord testifies that this is the righteousness of God. Because man failed to achieve it. God said to give it to us as a gift. Everyone, we Gose byaratunane kugera ku gukiranuka. That's why God prepared for us Jesus. Umwami Imana yadutegurie Yesu. Through the works of Jesus. Abinyuze mu mirimo ya Yesu. God gave us his righteousness. Imana adoya gukiranuka kwayo. And he gave it to us freely. Kandi akutwere ubuntu. By his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So we were redeemed. Because of this eternal redemption. We can now say that we have no sin. We can say that we are righteous. We can say that we are righteous. When we read Hebrews chapter 10. You say we are righteous. You say we are righteous. ayobereje there is original sin that is our heart ali flesh momoko icyaha ari ari zo kamera zacu but you know that every time we come to sins and we break the law ari komenye ko buri munsi dukora ibyaha twicamo tegeko so the redemption was the solution to 
Uh, this problem of us being unable to keep the law. Dero a ucungu wa kwa jeri gisubizo cyuko twebwe byaturaniye gusoza ibyo amategeko dutegeka. Yes, that's why in chapter 9 verse 11 and 12 say but Christ came as the high priest of the good things to come with the great and the more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is not of this creation. And Christ came not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Kandi ninji jwa era chana na maraso ye ne chama na yi masa, hawka ninji jwa limwe na maraso ye, amaze kutuwa nera kuchungu kwa kuiteka. And by this will, God uh, fulfilled His providence. Uh, through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ, He took away all of our sins once and for all. That's why we should believe in Jesus. Whoever believes in Him is righteous. He has eternal life. He will never perish. Everyone believes in this truth. But you have to know that whether you believe in it or not, this will stand forever. Because the truth does not change. This world, uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 3 says, I hope that you think about your heart. If you realize that you are unable to become righteous through your deeds, Know that there is the righteousness of God apart from them. And just receive it. Believe in the word of God. Believe in that truth. After I know the truth, the truth will make you free. And you can start the true spiritual life. After I believed in this truth, God has been leading my life now it's about 10 years. God led my heart and he is leading my life one by one. This is the place of God. So we are righteous. We are perfect holy people. Chosen by God. And we are given this freedom. I hope you believe in this truth. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you. Uh, thank you because your love has been shown to us. Uh, through Jesus, you redeemed us. You took away a global sin. All you want us to do is just to believe in the truth. So many people trust in their thoughts. And Think that they believe in Jesus though they are sinners. But where will sinner go? Sinners go to the fire. Lord, there all people to realize that they are wrong. So that they can repent and receive this uh, righteousness from you, Lord. 
Once people believe in your righteousness, they can testify how righteous they are. They can get this boldness to test try that they are as poor as Jesus. That is not boasting themselves because they test try about the works of God. But so many people have said that uh, uh, speaking that they are sinners is being humble. Uh, that trembling the blood of Jesus and the work of God. You give the blessing to each and everyone who is uh, following this lecture so that they can we thank you Lord and we pray with in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, may God keep you in his presence.